Oh, Rabbi Wilhelm, thank you so much for that uh, edifying class. Um, everyone, my name is uh, Moshe Chaim, and I'm sitting here in my office in Japan, where I supervise Kashrut, and maybe someday you'll, you'll have a taste of my wares. Uh, ben Sian is on vacation this week, so you'll have to put up with me. And let's uh, go over to Rabbi Wilhelm for some more uh, enlightening words. Rabbi, take it away. Oh, so this is uh, the Parsha part. Until now was the Smicha class. Now you're, uh, you're putting me against the wall. Uh, come up. Ah, where is Ben-Sirin? He's uh, pregling as if in the sun, huh? It's Yeshiva vacation week, you know. And this week, half of, uh, half of New York empties out to Florida, and they go all over the place. I even know somebody, a family that's going to Dubai for yeshiva vacation. Anyway, nice. yeah. So anyway, so let's make it short and sweet. Um, the parsha, parsha. This week is parsha's boy, and in this week, my shichayim. Did you ever hear this Yiddish expression? Parah is in gahak You ever heard the expression gahak tetzaris? Gahak tetzaris. Okay, go ahead. Gahak tetzaris means he's in deep trouble. But uh, where does this gahak the tsarist expression come? Actually, for Pare, it's not fitting. But when you tell, say, Nebuch, this Jew is going through a, a hard time, he says gahak the tsarist. I read somewhere once that uh, it's a specific uh, terminology that's used because when Hashem gives din, Hashem gives uh, Rahman al Khan troubles. To a person, even then he does it in, the, in a ma manner of chesed. And because even water, the best things, when you give it all at once, it's a flood. When you spread it out, it's easier to handle. So, Chas Rishon, the Abish is giving somebody a hard time. He doesn't overwhelm the person with boom, 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 and to, uh, to collapse him. So, he gives the tzaris gahak in, 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 in bits and pieces. And there's a, and there's a way to tolerate it. Tsaros, I once read, is a gematria, the numerical value from Tsaros is 696. Half of that, half of 696 is 348. Is the gematria, uh, 348 is Sameach. If a person is happy, that's the way to overcome the Tsaros. As long as they become gahak, they become, they come, he chops them up. If, if it gets overwhelming, it's very difficult. Nebuchadnezzar, for sure, as the other Rachman, never does that to people. Never does that to his children. Well, let's go to the let's go to the parsha. So par is the Torah. But let me leave everybody with a question, a question that bothers me in the, all the chachamim ch ch on this group. Let's let's get some answers. And this week's parsha, we there is a part of the parsha that we say every single day every single weekday when we put on the Rabbeinu Tam's film. We say the Parsha of Vahoya Ki Yaha, which means when the Eivishter will take us into Eretz Yisrael, and we talk about the mitzvah of Tfilin, the mitzvah of Pidyan Aben. Okay, and it's mentioned Tfilin. That's most probably the reason why we say it. But, you know, other people have other customs. I just want to figure out exactly why the custom became. The Shulchan says that when you wear Tfilin, you have to say Shema, because since in the midst in the parshas of Shema, since in the parshas of Shema you're saying the mitzvah of tefillin, if you would say it and not wear tefillin, you're you're saying a lie. So you have to wear tefillin when you say the Shema. Okay, so that's why for those who wear two pairs of tefillin, say the Shema in the Rashi's tefillin, say the Shema in Rabbi Tam's tefillin. But the the parsha of Ahoyaki Veacha is one of the four parshas. That's written uh, one of the uh, Kadesh of Ahoyah Kibiyacha is one of the four Pashas that are in its filling. Where and who set it up that we say Shema in both and, Kad and Kadesh of Ahoyah Kibiyacha, you only say Rabbi Tam. I think we're, we're, we're trying to get everything everywhere it mentions about filling, but why is Rashi showed it that you don't mention in his spirit filling, you don't say Kadesh of Ahoyah Kibiyacha? That's just a question I'm throwing out to the public, and I'm sure I'm going to be flooded with emails, and the, uh, maybe uh, Al Gore will have to start a new uh, internet system for just for all the flood of emails. <laughs> okay, the Parsha. A short button on the Parsha. Parsha is, again, in Gehak Tetzaris, 
And Pari turns to Moshe Rabbeinu and says, okay, enough is enough, but do me a favor, tell me, me for me, ha'olchim. Exactly who do you want to go with you? Me for me, who, who? So there's a beautiful Balaturim. And the Balaturim says, Pari says to Moshe, where are you running? Do you think you're all you are going to end up in Eretz Yisrael? Don't you know that most of you are not making it into Eretz Yisrael? Because he saw with the stargazers that the, the, the Yaitse Mitraim all died in the Midbar. The only ones who were left were me, for me, ha'olchim. What is a me, me, for me, ha'olchim? So he says, me, for me, ha'olchim is the same gematria of Kalev and Binun. They, they were the only two spies, two Maraglim, that made an entire Israel. So where are you running? You're not going anywhere. So he says, Mi v'mila, they're the only ones that are going to make it to the promised land. Stay here. Now the Medrash also says that Mi v'mila, it's corresponding to Mi Yala Bahar Hashem or Mi Yakum Bim Koim Kachoy. Who, who, who could climb the mountain of God and who could stay on top of the mountain? So in other words, another, another trick that Pari is saying, you're leaving here, what are you going to get to the Torah? You're going to get overwhelmed with mitzvahs. Tell me, who's going to be able to climb that mountain? Who's going to keep, who's going to be able to listen to all those 613 commandments? And even if you are a goody-goody, who could last? And me, Yakum bim kaim He was He was throwing them a bucket of cold, an ice bucket, ice challenge of cold water to calm them down. Where who life's do? This is what Pari is saying. So what's Moshe's response? Moshe's response, do you want to know who's going? Binareinu, bizkarneinu, bivameinu, our old, our young, our boys, our girls, we're all going. We are all going. How did that, how was that a response to, to, uh, to Pari's uh, Claim, where are you running? They're all dying out in the midbar. Where are you running? You're getting extra commandments. You're not going to be able to keep it. So there's two ways how to understand this. Moshe says to Pare, he says, Binareinu. Don't worry. By us, Torah is not overwhelming because we don't, it's not cold turkey. It's not what we let a guy behave however he wants till he's 90, 60, whatever. And now stop. Now you got to be a from Jew. Once the kids are already young, we train them slowly until they become uh, so since it's happening as they're young, then it's 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 even it last that as we know the famous Pasik, if you educate a child when he's young, he's gonna keep it when he's gonna want to keep it because he sees the, the beauty of it. So this is all the education that what we uh, educate the children. Now, he says, okay, the boys, but not the girls. Now we say, and another thing uh, Moshe said, you have to understand the ones who passed, you're telling me that everybody's dying and the only one that's left is you saw is Yeshua and Kalev. That's not true. There are the young ones, who, only the people who are, who are between 20 and 60 got punished. The binarenu, the young ones who are under under twenty, didn't get don't get punished, and the biskenenu and the ones who are over sixty don't get punished. So there's plenty of people who are going into Eretz Yisrael, and we are going to fight for all of them. And for all of them, we're going to make sure that you're going to get your peace. And your your peace is that we are leaving Mitzrayim once and for all. And Hashem tells us. He made says from Eretz Mitzrayim, I ran the floor. Just like I took you out of this Golas, the same would be in the future Golas to come. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Yashakoyach. Thank you. Yashakoyach. Bye bye.